Hello everyone, welcome back to the HashiCorp Certified Terraform Associate, Cloud Certification Catalyst Program. We are back with question number six. So in this question, you will see that we have a AWS S3 bucket resource with the name example. There's a logical name of the resource via which it can be addressed or referenced in this module. And bucket is the name of the bucket and I have another IEM rule. Okay, so two resources I have defined an S3 bucket with this name and an AWS IEM role with this role. Now, due to the way that this application code is written, the S3 bucket must be created before the test role is created. Otherwise, there will be a problem. How can you ensure this? So basically, the requirement is that the S3 bucket needs to be created first and then basically this IEM role can be created. So this is just an example. There might be actual use cases in your day-to-day -day infra provisioning activities where this is needed. So one resource actually needs to be created after the other resource because, for example, the second resource depends on an input or depends on implicitly or explicitly depends upon the first resource being created. For example, say you create a elastic IP and wanted to attach it to an ENI. So it is imperative that the ENI is created first, otherwise you cannot attach it to something, right, if it is not even created. So this is where the S3 bucket needs to be created first before the IM role is created. So what is the option A? Create two separate Terraform config scripts, run them one by one, one for the S3 bucket and the other for the IM role, run the S3 bucket script first. So rather than keeping everything in one Terraform config, they are saying two completely different scripts. One will create the S3 bucket, another will create the IM role. I will manually know that I need to run this S3 bucket first and then I will run the IM role. Obviously, this will work. If I run the S3 bucket first, then I will obviously, S3 bucket will obviously get created first. But this is not the optimal way and this is actually not even the best practice or not at all any way to do this. Terraform inherently has capabilities to identify this kind of dependencies between resources, like which resource needs to be created before what, which resource needs to be updated or destroyed after what, and all of these things. So option A is not in, not correct. Option B, they are saying this will already be taken care of by Terraform native implicit dependency. Nothing else needs to be done from here. So actually, in Terraform, there is this concept of implicit dependency. What does that mean? This means that Terraform is implicitly able for most of the use cases to identify which resource will be created after what. What is the ordering, correct ordering of resource creation? And how does Terraform do that? Terraform can only do that if the resource is referenced in the second resource. Meaning say, I have a resource called AWS ENI and I have another resource called AWS Elastic IP. Now, if in my AWS Elastic IP resource, I have a parameter called ENI ID, where I basically refer the ENI resource, then due to this implicitly mentioning or due to this mentioning by my code that this is dependent on that, Terraform will create a dependency graph in the backend where it will note that there is a dependency between the ENI and the Elastic IP. So there will be a dependency graph which will show that before the Elastic IP is created, the ENI needs to be created. But Terraform can only know that if the resources are referenced in each other. If the resource of the EIP, Elastic Pool, Elastic IP does not refer in the code, the resource ID or some parameter or some attribute of the ENI, then how will Terraform know that they are related? Terraform does not maintain a, a knowledge base of every single resource relation. Okay, so implicit dependency normally works in 90% of the cases, but in this case it will not work because I am not referencing any parameter of this S3 bucket in this IM role. If I had, then obviously Terraform would have understood that the S3 bucket needs to be created first and the IM role should only be created after that. So this is not the solution. The third is add an explicit dependency using depends on. 
this will ensure that the correct order of resource creation this is actually the correct answer so for use cases where there is no implicit dependency like in this case where from the code terraform is unable to understand which resource needs to be created first there could be two ways terraform could create the bucket first and then the test row which then it would work they could create both of them parallelly and maybe at the last moment the test row gets created first in that case the history bucket will give an error right because this is how this application code is written i need my s3 bucket to be created first before my im role otherwise during the im role creation maybe it is referencing the s3 bucket in some other way okay and not explicitly written in the code and it will error out so in this case i can give a depends on so what i will go i will come here in the resource aws im role and i will write depends on equal to in a correct syntax the s3 bucket dot example as soon as the depends on meta argument is seen in the resource block terraform will actually add an explicit line in that dependency graph which will mention that if i have to create this im role alt test role then before that i have to create this s3 bucket this is called explicitly mentioning my dependency and in terraform you can do this using depends on now in 95% of the use cases you might not need this because as soon as you referencing a particular attribute of a resource in another resource terraform implicitly takes care of the dependency but in some rare cases where the resource attributes are not referenced in each other but still you want some sort of a dependency on an ordering then you need this explicit dependency fourth option this is not possible to control in terraform terraform will take care of it in a native way and create a dependency graph that is best suited for the parallel resource creation no so this is incorrect as you see can see it can be controlled using depends on obviously terraform will take care in a native way it will obviously create a native resource dependency graph but that will not always suit your needs because maybe that graph will actually try to create the uh, test role first before creating the s3 bucket which is not what you want so unless there are two kinds of dependencies one is explicit dependency where you mention so where there is already implicit dependency there is no need to clutter your code and mention explicit dependency you still can but there is no need and where there is no implicit dependency but still you need to enforce some sort of dependency then you go with explicit dependency so the answer is add explicit dependency using depends on this will ensure the correct order of resource creation now let us go to the code base so see use the depends on meta argument to handle hidden resource dependencies that terraform can automatically infer explicitly specifying a dependency is only necessary when a resource relies on some other resources behavior okay but it does not access any of the resource data in its arguments so it is only then that it is needed if there is an inherent resource dependency in the code itself by say for example uh, the input of one resource is for example the attribute of another resource then the implicit dependency will take over but in case where a resource relies on some other resources behavior but it does not access any of that resources data in its arguments you need explicit dependency okay so you can basically go over this entire section and you can see all of these examples okay it must be a list and you can see here the depends on argument should only be used as a last resort when using it always include a comment explaining why it is being used to help future maintainers understand the purpose of this additional dependency so why is it saying it should be used as a last resort because most of the time you already have implicit dependency and in that case you don't need to mention the dependency explicitly and how you rest, rep, uh, respond to this basically how you refer to the dependency create the dependency as you can see in this resource aws instance there is no mention of this im role directly this policy directly but you want it to be created so you do a depends on aws im role policy dot example meaning in backend terraform knows that before i create this aws instance i need to create this aws im role policy okay so this is it basically for this uh, lecture so please uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, let me know in case you need any inputs on any specific topics thank you take care